Hey guys, just a quick update. Here is my batteries. Um, I've only got four packs done. I'm waiting on a hundred from alarm hookup that are supposed to already be tested and at, at capacity. Once those get here, I'm gonna feed them in with the rest of the batteries I have, all the ones that are above 2200 milliamps, and feed it into the repacker on uh, DIY Tech and or DIY Powerwall's website. It seems to work out pretty good for these. It's kind of a little trick to it. I'll explain later. Um, but I just want to give an update. Uh, these are the batteries. They are fused. All the positives are fused. Other side's got 24 gauge, uh, 12 gauge, BMS, balance cable. These, uh, like I said, they're BMS, 25 amp BMSs with balance. Uh, they work like as soon as I plugged them in, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I plugged them in, as soon as I soldered everything up, I noticed that they started balancing like right off the bat. Because uh, when I first started them, they were all kind of off just a little bit here, a few, a few volts here, or not volts, maybe full, you know, just, just a smidge like one would be 4.2, the other would be 4.2. 4.09 and then after I hooked up the balance board and let it sit for a little while I noticed that the pack started equalizing they uh, all all three on all four of these seem to have equaled out to about uh, roughly 4.16 4.17 uh, the balance cables the leads these are probably gonna sit like this and the wall Sort of like that, and then because uh, my wall is going to be super, super tight. I've got over 400 batteries going in this tiny little structure. It's not accounting for it. Right? <clears throat> with these four packs, this is just half a string. But with these four packs, I still have to do a a 1s. It has to be like um, 1s. 1S16, 1S32P. And what that is going to do is these are going to run into, these are going to run parallel, parallel, parallel. Then I have another set that's going to run into 24 volts. Then it's going to run into the 1P or the 1S32P. And that's going to, it's going to be ran in series and that's going to give me 29.4 volts so that I can use the full potential of the uh, inverter uh, with just 24 volts it comes out to 25.2 I'm only using half the inverters potential I didn't like that so I had to figure out another way so I had to come up with another another alternative so the only thing I could think of was to add a 1s to the pack and make sure that it was high amp so that it met with this but those ain't done yet that's going to be the last one because it's it's actually going to be able to fit into one pack and it should leave me some room for some relays and all that good junk but anyways i just want to give a quick update powerwall is taking me forever guys you guys you guys have built powerwalls way bigger than this uh, i don't know how you guys did it you guys did a lot of work all right well i don't know what videos i'm gonna add to this but uh, I'm sure I'll try to figure out something else. I think in the next video I might explain how I go through the process of uh, picking out what batteries go to where, how I charge them, how do I check resistance, and all that good stuff. I'm not gonna give I'm not gonna give no how-to on how to solder batteries up because I think I'm totally horrible at it. Uh, I think somebody else out there from the community could probably give a better how to than I can but I'm really horrible at it right now so I wouldn't I'd rather you guys just see me do it I wouldn't rather you guys follow me doing it not yet still need some practice but I'm sure nobody was good at it right off the bat anyways uh, 
the video that I'm probably going to place after this is just a video of me putting together the first pack. It actually looks like it took, it actually looks like it was easier than what it was it actually. It was pretty easy, but it, it, I just struggle there when I'm wiring things up. I tend to second guess myself a lot. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to throw that video with this and maybe a couple other ones, of course. But uh, yeah, thanks. Here's the setup I have. It's uh, going to be a 25 amp BMS with balance. I'm going to use a 65 degrees thermal fuse. So down 60 degrees thermal fuse. It's going to have a balance lead with a voltage alarm 12 gauge with an XT60 12 gauge wire twisted for the bus bars I'm going to use 1.5 uh, 250 volt glass fuses they blow at 3 amps to be in 3S configuration and with 3S configuration they are going to be in pairs uh, parallel for 24 volts then coming from a string of two of them in parallel for the 24 volts I'm going to have a another battery bank of just the 1S they're going to be in series with the 1S to give me, I believe it's another 4.2 volts so that I can optimize the full potential of the inverter. It's the only thing I can think of that might work. Um, I've got to come up with a way to uh, protect the 1S like this. I couldn't find nothing that was like 25 amps so I'm going to have to do a little bit of searching online and see if I can find a 1S. Uh, board that just protects you know, balancing with the 1S so yeah for now I'm just going to give it a voltage alarm I'm going to run a balance cable with the voltage alarm that way if, the, if it goes below like 3 volts it'll alarm it'll alarm let it know and uh, of course I'm going to use it it's going to have these four and another four. Those are going to be together in parallel with, of course, another 1S. Then there will be another eight 3S batteries with 1S, and they'll run into some other voltage uh, meter, the 100 amp voltage meter. Right now, this plan, I'm thinking it's going to work going to be pretty safe. I'm also going to test these. I'm going to run them under load test a couple times make sure that everything's good. I've already tested them singly one at a time. I'm going to test them as a battery bank to see to make sure they hold and that should be pretty much it and that will take care of my batteries. Oh, I forgot to mention the testing. Uh, each battery is going to be tested, or each battery was tested. Uh, charging with the TP46, whatever you want to call that. I've got a few of those all around here somewhere. Uh, I also use the Opus BTC3100, XTAR Dragon, and two IMAX B6s, and another XTAR BC2. whatever for the power I usually run them I usually charge them and then I discharge them for to check capacity then I recharge them if the capacity is super low I will discharge and recharge them one more time just to make sure to test the resistance I test them all on the, B, on the BTC 3100 and then I'll test them again with the X Star Dragon just to be safe. Staged. 
these are not pressure packs at the end. These are packs. Alrighty, so I twisted some 12 gauge wire together using my drill and some 12 gauge solid core wire. Looks uh, okay. I figure I was going to run the wire to the board itself, but I got to thinking about it that may cause problems later, I don't know. I'll, I'll just do this one, maybe try it on this next one and see what happens. The first two that I do right now are just going to be kind of uh, experimental. I've never done this before, so yep. I figure it shouldn't be too hard. From what I hear, this is the hardest part, putting on these little tiny itty bitty fuses. Yeah, I figure I'll start off with a basic. Looks like I'm getting one, two, three, four, five. Five pieces per five foot strand. Sounds about right, like five feet. No, does that have to be longer than five feet? I don't know. I think when I bought them, I bought them in a five foot section. It's only like a dollar sixty a foot or something like that. And they came with five wires in each. <clears throat> So, here it is, beginning. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Something I've never done before. I'm going to start soldering it up, I guess. I'm gonna probably time lapse the photo so that you don't gotta see me struggle. <laughs> and if I get it down, uh, I might put a video or record me doing it. I want to get it down first. Alright, here we go. Alright, it looks like I got it on there. I don't see no cold joints, 
or anything like that. I'm going to speed up the camera for the rest of this so you don't have to uh, watch me struggle. Probably almost struggle on this side too much. <laughs> 